scoring this contest will be Cindy Barton, Carol Castellano, and Davey Pearl. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Kenny Bayless. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the brown and gold and weighing in at 126 pounds. She has a record of three and one, all three victories by knockout. She comes to us from Merriman, Kansas. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger, Irish Kelly Downey. And her opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing playboy pink and weighing in at 125 pounds. A perfect professional ready? record. 12 bouts, 12 victories with seven knockouts to her credit. Fighting out of Canoga Park, California, ladies and gentlemen, the undefeated IBA women's four-round featherweight champion, Mia Rosales St. John. Ring center. Ring center. Okay, ladies, we went over the rules in the dressing room. We want the fight clean at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up. Well, Larry? Judge. Judge. I wonder if, Judge. if this is uh, one step ahead for women's boxing or two steps to the rear. What do you think, Jim? I think the bell has sounded for round one. <laughs> and Kelly Downey starts off with a hard right hand to the body. And Mia St. John tries to return in kind. I think Mia was unkind to herself when she says she's not a good boxer. She is on the verge of even being great for women's boxing. Not to be compared with the men's state of boxing now. These girls are strong, they are courageous. They go out in front of a big crowd like this and give their own. You can't say anything about it. Oh, I agree with you, George, that no matter what we think of this kind of exhibition. Uh, it's not it, an exhibition. It takes, nerve, it takes nerve and courage to go out there and risk whatever you risk in, in a boxing contest. Yeah, this is not an exhibition, though. This is a boxing contest. However. Christy Martin and Lucia Riker were real fighters who were real skilled to put on a real show. This, this is uh, hardly worth looking at in the gymnasium. I do think Mia's getting better. She has a little more leverage on her punches. She's not just arm flailing as we've seen her do on a couple of occasions in the past. I also think she's gonna have to be better because Kelly Downey throws haymakers with bad intentions. She's better. Guys just can't compare them to men. She is good, very good. Mia St. John able to drive Kelly Downey back with the left hand so that Downey missed with her wild flailing right. Mia staying within her envelope a little bit more tonight. Bobbing and weaving, can you believe that? Now tell She's me that is better. Skill. There's no question she is improving. Watch out, work out. Round one, much more of a tactical boxing match than has been the case in past Mia St. John fights. And Mia tries to close the round with a flurry, as professional fighters learn to do. And quickly, referee's instructions to Oscar De La Hoya. Punch or anything low. You score a knockdown, I'm going to send you a neutral corner. Stay there, tell Tate to come out. If you do score a knockdown, do not hit the guy when he's down, period. Now if your mouthpiece comes out, I want you to keep fighting, protecting yourself. And when there's a low, we'll go to the corner, get a wash up, and put back in. Okay, there's no three knockdown rules, no standing eight count. If you're a champion of the world, I expect you to conduct yourself like a champion out there. Okay, when I say break, take a step back, protect yourself. I know you've heard us before, so good luck, and, and uh, I want a good clean fight out, okay? Thank Any you. questions? Yes. Uh, I just uh, like to make a mention that he got a reputation to hit low. Can you please be aware? Yeah, I'm going to watch everything. That. I'm going to watch everything. Thank you. Right, good luck, man. Mitch Halpern was the referee for Deloya's tough test early this year against Ike Quarte. He was the referee who quite properly and intelligently did not stop the fight in the 12th when Deloya had Quarte on the ropes and in trouble, but did not stop Quarte from firing back. Downey is about the strongest opponent that Mia's been in with. If you don't watch it, she may throw you down. 
Mia St. John rallying and starting a flurry to begin round two. She jabs, leave a jab low, and then she makes a hook out of it. Well, Barron, the promoter says the drama of her fights is whether she's going to get hit in her pretty face. There's been a lot of drama so far then. <laughs> Well, I, I imagine most of you got this as we look at Mia pounding a right hand to Kelly Downey. And uh, this is the biggest flurry of the fight, and Downey's hurt as Mia St. John drives her into the corner. Hold it, hold it, hold it, step back. Bayless will pull him apart. That Downey is tough. Just to make it clear, Robert Alcazar, Deloia's trainer, asking the referee, Mitch Halpern, to be aware that he says, quote, Trinidad has a reputation for throwing low blows. I don't know where that reputation came from because that's the first I ever heard of it. I guess it's just the standard stuff. Good right hand by Mia. To a referee before a fight. You like me a straight right hand. Good straight draw. right hand. She's been acting real good. She sidesteps like a Jersey Joe walkout. <laughs> I like it. You just like showbiz and boxing, George. <laughs> <laughs> George has a keen understanding of what the public will respond to. And fans are filling the arena early here, which may well be a statement. Good, of straight yep. right hand. Yep. She's improving her punting power, George. That's another area in which she's getting better. Downey was in trouble through much of round two. And as she goes back to her corner, Mia gives it a little Ray Leonard and plays to the crowd. Oh, you got to get small, huh? They're going to stop the fight if you get hit like that. I think Kelly Downey's had enough. Did you hurt your Okay, you got to stop getting hit. Tighten up everything. Stay low. Ducks a right hand, comes up with a left and a right, goes on the attack. Mia St. John. Mm. And by the end of this round, it looked as though Kelly Downey was looking for a door out of the ring. Uppercuts with both hands, George. She is really learning some stuff, isn't she? Fascinating. We pass out a questionnaire to the fighters, asking them for personal information and background about their boxing careers. One of the questions on the questionnaire is, what does your trainer kid you about? And I'll have to tell you later because down goes Downey on a one-two combination Four, by Mia. Five, six, seven, eight. You're okay. Come to me. Twelve. And you see Mia playing to the crowd in the background. Down has got to get low and meet her. I don't think Downey's going to be able to take Mia's punch. Downey wobbling strong. now. She's got strong, she has strong legs. You can see that. And though she gets knocked down, she continues to be the aggressor. Good left hook by Downey. And Mia landed a body shot in there. Ooh, Downey's still trying. Punch. Now Mia goes back to the body to try to set up the finish. Mia's in real good condition. Oh, she has to be to throw the, the number of punches that she throws. Ooh, to the body again, Mia goes. I don't think we saw her throw too many body punches in the past either. This is another new wrinkle in the St. John game. So at any rate. Seems to be a little scratch on Mia's left side of her face. Right hand by St. John drives Downey back into the ropes. Ooh, right hand. So much action here, I'm not going to be able to tell you what Mia and her trainer get around about. Too bad. Mia is so focused on the hard body punching that the head shots are hurting. Yeah. Looks like a bad hair day for Kelly Downey. A bad hair day getting worse. <laughs> Another big round for St. John. Take a big breath now. Take a big breath. Is that mouthpiece? Are you hurt? No. 
All right, then. Breathe deep and slow. Are you all right? Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Take a look at the knockdown. Was it a punch or just sheer exhaustion? Good right hand followed by a left hand. True knockdown. In round three, in only two minutes of action, Mia St. John throws 74 punches and lands 44 of them by pomp CompuBox numbers. Mia's a divorcee, incidentally, previously married to soap opera star Christoph St. John. Let's go second. Mother of two. And I just got to give you this bio line from the questionnaire. Do you, do you, Jim? I, I'm, I'm going to in a minute, but now I've been told to let Harold tell us the scorecard. All right, so Harold, how do you have it so far? Jim, three to nothing, 30 to 26. Give me a St. John an extra point for the knockdown. You're right, she throws all kinds of hard shots from all kinds of crazy angles. Me and St. John getting better. Very tough to defense because she's punching from wide angles. All right, is this enough of a buildup? Are you ready? So what is it that she and her trainer kid around about? She says, he tells me I've been celibate too long. We don't know how long. Maybe that'll be in the Playboy feature. You mean in the end? Oh, now Downey is getting tough. You mean she hasn't, she hasn't given up one out? I couldn't one distract in. George with that. I just couldn't distract him. Oh, left hook by Mia. And now, now I agree with you, Larry. I'm not sure Downey wants much more. Downey has not given up. She's tough. She gets knocked back. She goes back to the fight. She's covering up more. It would be good for the referee to kind of uh, How about a stoppage? save Downey now. Ooh, How about a stoppage, George? Wouldn't that be good? Yeah, the good thing, the fights, the rounds aren't that long. St. John is hitting her at will. 35 seconds to go in the fight. Logic tells you Kelly Downey has no chance to win it unless she were to somehow land a lucky haymaker. That's it. And Kenny Bayless agrees. Why did Bayless stop it at that point? Can you, can you explain that to me? Well, I wish he had let it go. Harold, what's your take on why he Jim, stopped it? Jim, there's no clock. I mean, the referee doesn't have a clue how much time there is left in this two-minute run. Obviously, if he knew there was only 15 seconds or 20 seconds left, he would, you yeah, know. Yeah, but for the safety of the goal. fighters, he shouldn't, right? He shouldn't, but, you know, it was close to the end of the fight. But to answer Larry's question, the referee doesn't know the exact time. That's not, wasn't the question. She didn't look any more hurt then than she did two rounds ago. I would have stopped a little bit. So early, maybe the question then. is, why didn't he stop it two <laughs> rounds ago? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's Kelly Downey. And let's hope her grandmother is okay. Because I can't imagine that, I mean, if watching other fights would have given her a heart attack, I can't imagine this was very easy. She's got nothing to be ashamed of. Let's get the particulars on the TKO from Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kenny Bayless calls a halt to the bout. The official time, one minute, 40 seconds of round number four. The winner by TKO victory. Her record now, 13 and 08 KOs. She is still the undefeated IBA women's four-round featherweight champion, Mia Rosales. St. John. I'm a happy winner, and uh, you heard her say, Mama loves you. That's for the two kids back home. Let's go to James Brown. All right, Jim, thank you very much. So the improvement of Mia St. John, very evident in that bout against Kelly Downey. And uh, not only is Mia St. John pleasing to the eye, she can do damage to the eye and repeatedly at that. Still to come, the main event tonight, Oscar De La Hoya taking on Felix Trinidad. Oscar De La Hoya saying that he is indeed the chameleon man. He can possess and display a number of different styles while Trinidad seemingly knows only one way to fight, and that's to come right at you and do damage two-fisted style. That yet to come later. Still to come on the undercard, we will take a look at 